Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Marissa Sarback with Big Fox News. The flu is on the rise in our area. Meant to help slow the spread, Arnott Health has enacted visitor restrictions at Arnott Ogden Medical Center, St. Joseph's Hospital in Elmira, and Ira Davenport Memorial Hospital in Bath. This means no more than two visitors plus a caregiver are allowed in patient rooms. No one under the age of 14 may visit the hospital, and anyone with symptoms is asked to stay away. Arnott says it will remove these restrictions once the flu is no longer widespread in the area. And the Elmira City Council approves a resolution to honor Ernie Davis with a postage stamp in 2019. Ernie Davis is an Elmira native, and he became the first African American to win the Heisman Trophy. Davis died from leukemia at 23 before being able to play professionally. He would have turned 80 next year. A Corning professor recently approached Mayor Dan Mandel about the idea of the stamp and submitted a request to the U.S. Postmaster General. With the city's full support, it's believed the request will be accepted. While panels of the Tappan Zee Bridge that connected towns across the Hudson River will help connect communities in our region. The 60-year-old Tappan Zee Bridge came down in October, but it will live on in pieces to help rebuild some current bridges in Chemung County. Officials say the panels, which were sold off for a dollar apiece, are in good shape. The new panels are expected to arrive in the spring. And we're looking ahead to some warmer weather for a little while at least. It is still January. Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers is up next with your Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. And welcome back, everyone. Temperatures did make it into the mid-30s here late this afternoon. A little breezy out there, a lot of cloud cover as well. So still dealing with some wind chills across the area as those wind chills were into the upper to mid-20s here late this afternoon. But high temperatures, 35 in Corning, 36 degrees in Elmira, 33 degrees Ithaca, 36 degrees Tuwanda, 42 the high temperature today down you down in Williamsport. Now we'll drop back in the teens overnight, so another cold start as we head into the middle part of the work week. 13 degrees, the overnight low, partly cloudy skies, but winds calmer. We're going for winds under five miles per hour as we head into the overnight hours of tonight. Now for your Wednesday, a lot of clouds once again, but temperatures should get a little, a little bit warmer, getting close to 40 anyway as we head to the afternoon hours. But late in the day, especially late afternoon, evening hours, that's when some rain chances come in. And by 5 o'clock, could be seeing a little bit of rain around the area. Temperature back at 36 by 5 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. So taking a look at what else we can expect to see. Well, cloudy skies, rain in the forecast, at least late in the afternoon into the evening hours of your Wednesday. Could see a little bit of more rain around as we get to Friday as well, but warmer temperatures for Thursday and Friday as highs get back into the 40s, maybe even in the 50s by the time we get to the end of our work week. Here's what it looks like then for your Wednesday. Yeah, a little bit milder temperature wise. We're going to be seeing those temperatures getting at least up close to 40. Here comes that next system. A little bit of rain well over to our west. That will eventually get here in the afternoon hours or evening hours of our uh, Wednesday afternoon. And then once that moves through, then much warmer temperatures are getting here as we head into the upcoming weekend. Let's take a look at our forecast high, uh, forecast lows for tonight back into the teens across the area as you get to tomorrow. Then your Wednesday should see highs back close to 40. Again, afternoon rain possible late in the afternoon. A high of 50 by Thursday with cloudy skies expected 53 degrees more rain chances return on on a Friday then we drop back into the upper 20s maybe seeing some of that rain change over to maybe a mixing of some precipitation maybe in a little bit of light snow by Saturday morning as well 29 the high temperature and unfortunately teens are back in the forecast by Sunday with a high of 19 with cloudy skies and much colder weather returning for middle part of next week but it really enjoyed Thursday Friday with highs in the 50s across our area Seeing that, that number four and the nine there on the graphic, <laughs> it's like nails on a chalkboard exactly. for me. Exactly. <laughs> Especially when you see that one nine together mm -hmm. on Sunday. Yeah, back in the teens. So definitely seeing some winter back in our forecast. But a couple warmer days here before winter returns this weekend. I guess we'll be thankful that we got even those. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Chris. Well, the force was strong with a group of young Jedis in training. Let's Dance Studio in Bismarck, North Dakota, invited a group of mini Star Wars lovers to try their hands at becoming Jedis themselves. They tested their skills with their very own lightsabers, work to beat an obstacle course with their strength and agility, all while their favorite Star Wars characters looked on. 
I'm actually very, very cute for them all to get dressed up and as their favorite Star Wars character. And they and, are pretty adorable. And, and, well, at least they're inside. That's a good thing. They're in, indoors, which is always good. That's what I was thinking. I think that's a good business uh, <laughs> technique there, you know, especially in North Dakota because we're complaining about our temperatures, <laughs> but I can only imagine yeah, what they're dealing with. Yeah, and actually, with. if you've kind of seen the outside of windows or you've seen some of that snow piled up, if you took a glance out there. So, yeah, Bismarck definitely dealing with some winter, but they're even actually enjoying warmer temperatures, too, mm -hmm. like we're going to be enjoying. So they're going to have a January thaw, thaw just like we're going to have. That's mm -hmm. really good news. But temperature wise, we're going to be seeing temperatures actually cool back off. So don't get too used to the warm weather get too used to and it. maybe find that indoor activity this weekend when temperatures will be back into the uh, 20s and teens across the area. I think even when they give us a little bit of a jump in temperature, though, we'll we'll all venture outside and enjoy. Yeah, definitely enjoy that can. Thursday and Friday when temperatures are in the 50s. But the weekend brings that winter right back to us for sure, for sure. Well, thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great evening.